Oh my, what a week. This week's new single releases include Sleater Kenny drop another track ahead of their 2024 album Little Rope, check out Say It Like You Mean It in this week's playlist, fans of the recently concluded TV series Succession will see a familiar face in the video. The three-track single New York arrives today on all streamers from 90s electro rockers Republica. They are set to drop a new full-length album in 2024. It's called Damaged Gods. This is the first of two mentions of Gene Loves Jezebel in this episode. Their first album since 2017, Love, Death, Sorrow, is on the way in December. It's a mix of original material and covers of songs by The Cure, Magazine, and the lead single, a cover of the Bowie-esque A Girl Like You by Edwin Collins. New full-length albums this week include Loaded, The Greatest Hits, 1994 through 2023. It gathers the best-known tracks from grunge rockers Bush and their nearly 30-year career. There's also some new stuff, including the current single Nowhere to Go But Everywhere and the band's hard-to-find cover of the Beatles classic Come Together, available on two CDs or two LPs. There are those who felt 2016's Dead to the World was the best Helmet album since the band's reunion. Will today's release of Left lead to a rethinking of that notion? This 11-song collection is notably leaner and meaner than many of the New York alt-metal band's previous efforts. It's available on CD and vinyl. Sonic Mojo is new this week from veteran British rockers Foghat. The band describes the album as blues-infused, with a healthy dose of rock and roll and country. 80s new wave vets Missing Persons return with Hollywood Lie, featuring guest appearances from Billy Idol guitarist Steve Stevens and the Knack's Niles Prescott. Jackal singer Jesse James Dupree's new full-length album Breathing Fire drops today, featuring several collaborations with ACDC vocalist Brian Johnson. Hey, if you want to stay up to date on the latest releases from the classic alternative and indie artists of the 70s, 80s, and 90s, I might just suggest that you subscribe to the channel. Like and comment, too. I mean, look at this puppy. He subscribed, and look how happy he is. Just saying. Okay, deluxe editions and reissues this week. If you're not a Beatles fan, your parents probably are. So you may as well go ahead and work this into the holiday budget. The 2023 editions of the Beatles Red and Blue albums feature additional tracks not included in the original packaging up to this point, including 2023 mixes of 36 of the combined 75 tracks in what is now a 6 LP set. The recently released single Now and Then, of course, is featured in the Blue Collection. Substance, New Order's best-selling album to date is now available in multiple remastered configurations, including a 2-CD version, a 4-CD version, two LPs plus three additional 12-inch singles, and even a remastered 2-cassette version. The 25th anniversary of Meshuggah's Chaos Sphere drops today on Atomic Fire Records, this album marked the long-running Swedish very metal band's transition into a more technical, polyrhythmic sound. Their 11th studio album gets an expanded 25th anniversary edition this week. R.E.M.'s Up is available in a 2-CD and one very loaded Blu-ray or a 2-LP collection. If Not Now, When is available today on 180 gram vinyl from Incubus. The 2-LP set is available in limited edition red and marble vinyl editions. Originally released in 1989, the Grateful Dead's ironically titled final studio album, Built to Last, is being issued today in a newly remastered 1LP vinyl edition. Available on purple marble vinyl, the Thornfield Sessions from Gene Loves Jezebel is being reissued in newly remastered audio. Also arriving today and newly remastered for its 180 gram very limited vinyl release, the 40th anniversary of Mommy's Little Monster from Punk Pioneer's Social Distortion. Something Like Human, the most successful release in the Fuel catalog, gets its second vinyl release today. The 40th anniversary reissues continue from Motorhead, as Another Perfect Day arrives in a deluxe 2LP or 2CD set. Both versions add a recently unearthed 1983 concert performance in Hull City Hall. And the 2LP Ghostly Green vinyl edition of Dead Again arrives today from goth metal legends Typo Negative. New live albums, Soul Asylum, the complete unplugged NYC 93 arrives on all streamers today. This follows the 2LP vinyl edition that dropped on Record Store Day earlier this year. Indie folk rocker Cat Power follows last year's covers, her collection of remakes of a wide variety of artists, by narrowing things down to not only one specific artist, but one specific performance from that artist. Cat Power sings Dylan, the 1966 Royal Albert Hall concert is new today 
on two CDs or LPs. Andy McKay and Phil Manzanera's 2018 concert performance of full orchestral reimaginings of classic Roxy music tracks is available today on CD and vinyl. It's titled Rock Symphony. Featuring their best-known tracks Not Sleeping Around, Happy, and more, Ned's Atomic Dustbin's Greatest Hits Live arrives on vinyl for U.S. customers today. A U.K. import was the only option up until now. And the 1999 recording Live, A Night on the Sunset Strip drops on vinyl for the first time ever this week from L.A. Guns. Links to the vast majority of titles described in this week's episode are available in the description. If you're ready to check out this week's curated playlist, it is here on the screen somewhere. I'm not going to do that whole pointing thing anymore. If you missed last week's episode, it's here somewhere. I also created a special Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon related episode a few weeks ago, and it's on the screen. And no matter what, however you do it, don't you ever stop rocking. <laughs>